It has been a, a desire of Philip and Mia for a long time to make this project. Um, we came to it through lots of other programs that we made. And one was about mothers and daughters. And then we had some songs about daughters and their experience with love and with sexuality. And then we discovered so many songs that maybe on first sight are about a flower or some bees or about a young girl in the woods or whatever and if you look at it twice uh, you you see so many things that are very explicit about erotic subjects or um, about sex and uh, we were fascinated by it and classical music or classical songs um, have this image that is quite decent the more we talked about it and the more we got in into this there were so many obvious songs and and I thought oh well, why did I never see this or and this actually we combined with uh, some songs that are very explicit um, and very much about some erotic subject we recorded toothbrush time of um, Balcom which is about the girl who had a one-night stand and she really really is so disappointed with this guy and she wants him to leave like this. So we actually combined two kinds of songs. Actually, it's 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 a whole bunch of songs, like so many composers. And um, there are some very subtle and some very explicit. I should have known. I should have known. Maybe I should have picked up the phone and called him. Understand. <laughs> when we started working together, we just uh, had lots of fun doing uh, Purcell or doing uh, Kurt Weil, uh, Schoenberg. We did first performances of contemporary songs uh, which had just been written for us. And um, as we love this, we came from that side. And the other side is, of course, that we are both very much interested in subtext, in, uh, in songs which are more complicated than just, you know, saying one thing. Um, it gets more and more complicated and more and more interesting when there is a contradiction between music and text or when the text says one thing means something else. That's what we love. And coming from these two sides, we somehow centered it in this Dirty Minds project. I'm lead professor, I'm lead teacher, and this is a little bit my everyday work is to speak to young students who come to me with songs about uh, uh, f flowers and birds and I say you realize what this is yeah this is a real sex scene or um, very very famous of course um, is uh, Schubert's Heidenröslein on a text of Goethe which is just rape yeah and you some get it very quickly and some just look at me with with, with shocked eyes <laughs> and then a week later they come and say Okay, Mr. Schulz, this is again about sex, is it? And I said, no, actually, this not. <laughs> it's funny. liked the way of music ma making together we had the same taste and the same uh, kind of humor also with Jan Philipp it's very important to me that we have the same kind of jokes I think we both approach music not necessarily in a whole classical way like we like to do it a bit more with a different view this is also how we came to this project 
Olivia is a great singer because she can do everything and I love this. I love to be uh, strolling around in, in music history and I love to do things beyond uh, usual repertoire. So this is not only these American art songs which go very much towards uh, musical style. Uh, we can also do things which are usually done by actors like um, die Ballade der sexuellen Hörigkeit. Da ist nun einer schon, der Satan selber, der Metzger, er und alle anderen Kälber, der frechste Hund, der schlimmste Hurentreiber, wer kocht ihn ab, der alle abkocht, Weiber. And she can do wonderfully Mozart and Haydn songs, which is the most difficult thing of of all uh, because she has this feeling for the uh, classical style interpretation and she can do Alban Berg or uh, Schoenberg or late romantic you know really flourishing wonderful singing so you don't find this so easily it's great and this is why we had so much fun with this CD <laughs> Leicht im Schritt und munter sind daher. Da 